Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is the Friday morning edition for the 15th of February. James Spann here. Nice warm up today, a cold shot tomorrow. Active weather next week, maybe severe weather in a week or so. A lot to talk about. So let's get in there and take a look. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots around that the network early this morning. About 5 o'clock, that's the Inverness sky cam overlooking Highway 280 as seen from the Wingate Inn. It's a clear, chilly morning. There's a look at downtown Fayette and way down south, downtown Atmore, Alabama, down in Escambia County. The big trough is carving out over the east. That's going to pull down a quick-hitting shot of cold air tomorrow. Temperatures this morning are in the 30s. Cold spots, Fort Payne and Gadsden at 30, but a nice warm-up today. will be close to 60 in most locations. Around the nation, the colder air entering the northern states. Temperatures below zero over parts of Minnesota and North Dakota. But it's a very progressive pattern, so this, this cold shot tomorrow will not last long. And around the nation, man, it's quiet. I mean... Uh, the only real problems are the river flood warnings down in parts of southwest Alabama from all the rain we had a few days ago. And, ooh, look at this. You don't see this uh, that often. A day seven severe weather risk uh, into Alabama. Includes much of Mississippi. Uh, and that would be Thursday of next week. And so, obviously, we'll be... Looking at that setup with interest. Let's look at modeling here. This is the uh, GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at noon today. Trough beginning to carve out down below that. Uh, should be a partly sunny day with a high at or just over 60. In fact, both models are printing a high of about 62. And uh, with the front coming in, you know, there could be a maybe a shower late this afternoon or tonight, but the moisture is very limited, so any rain should be pretty light. Tomorrow, there's your trough, and there's going to be very intense forcing in the base of that trough through here, but there's just no moisture. Uh, down below that, the uh, you can see the GFS hinting at maybe a few uh, snow flurries or snow showers down in southeast Alabama tomorrow morning, uh, right behind that front, and that's a very real possibility. I mean, you know, we've been mentioning snow flurries for tomorrow all week, and there's no doubt there could be some snowflakes flying. Don't expect any accumulation, though. Uh, this is the RPM at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. It's got a few snow flurries and so, uh, snow showers up over the northeast corner of the state. So you know, it could be the better chance of any light snow. It would be early in the morning and then again maybe tomorrow afternoon. But the, the cold is the big deal. Uh, we might see 41 or 42. There's a look at some numbers coming off the NAM, valid at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And you can see mostly upper 30s around here, maybe, maybe 40 if we're lucky. You factor in a north wind, it's going to be a very raw, blustery, cold day. Uh, and it's Sunday morning, uh, the wind goes light, so we'll see temperatures well down in the 20s. But we warm up quickly. It's a quick-hitting cold shot. We should we reach the low 50s Sunday afternoon. The sky will be sunny. And we note that uh, nasty-looking 969 millibar low that's east of Cape Cod. That's going to be a close call for our friends up there. But I don't think it'll be like the blizzard last weekend. Monday, the winds veer into the south. We start to warm up. We should be in the low 60s. Clouds will increase. We'll go to Monday night at midnight. Pretty decent trough north of here. Surface low. That's uh, north of Chicago with a band of showers and storms entering northwest Alabama about midnight Monday night. And then by Tuesday at noon, the rain event is beginning to wind down. Still pretty decent evidence. The main window for rain with this feature from about midnight Monday night until noon Tuesday and like we've seen in recent runs, there is no surface-based instability in here. This is valid at 6 o'clock Tuesday morning. Uh, the uh, uh, unstable layer, that's where you see the green. Uh, the lifted index goes below zero, and that's near the Gulf Coast. So obviously, we don't expect any severe weather with that, just rain. Wednesday of next week, we're in between systems. That should be a dry day and a pretty pleasant day. Sunny with a high close to 60. But Thursday, look at that big upper low. Uh, that is setting up over the Great Plains. And you can see the uh, difluence out ahead of that. And down below that, underneath the upper low, there's a surface low. It's a vertically stacked system, 993 millibars over uh, eastern Kansas with uh, storms breaking out over Arkansas and Louisiana. And that, that's, a, that's a good severe weather setup. I mean, that's the reason you, you see the Day 7 outlook. And then Thursday night at midnight, the storms blow through here. 
a sub-1,000 millibar load that's south of Chicago. Uh, so that's a potent system that could bring some strong to severe storms uh, late Thursday or Thursday night of next week. We've got plenty of time to watch and fine-tune that. And then uh, midday Friday, it's gone. It's out of here. All right, speaking of a very progressive pattern, let's go out there a couple of more days. Look on the 24th. Uh, this is Sunday night, the 24th, late that night. Surface low near uh, the Alabama-Mississippi border, a big soaker if that's right. On the 28th, ooh, now look at here. Uh, a little disturbance swinging through, and that's suggesting maybe some light snow for North Alabama. And then on March the uh, 2nd, all of that is gone. But the weather sure looks interesting for the end of this month into early March. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. Don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.